boomers. <laughs> random, random rant number four. Is that where I'm at? Like, I literally woke up today. I have nothing. I have no idea what to rant about in television. So then the only thing to do is just put random rant in the title. That's it. I This this video can be about anything. It can be about flowers. And it's put in television amigo there and people are just going to listen to the video. Okay, well, here's the thing. What would scam? What is Scamaroni's breakfast of choice? I, I was thinking about this. Scamaroni's breakfast of choice has to be Lucky Charms. He has to be eating Lucky Charms. That greasy leprechaun sitting there puts in his milk, gets all the marshmallows out of the box, eats it up, and gets all clever. He's, he's just a magician with his hands, manipulating people. Okay, did you see Goose's video? That video he just released? The, the whole Emmy thing. So Scamaroni, friggin' lying to everybody, saying that he's an Emmy winner and a Grammy winner or whatever, a telly winner. And then it, and then it, and then it, it, it it's uh, re uh, revealed that the, the Emmy was won by that other guy from the electric playground, that Victor guy. He won the Emmy, not Scamaroni. So Scamaroni is going around telling people he won Emmys, a a a won the Emmy on all these friggin' podcast interviews. He's literally done like a hundred interviews. That was his goal, just to get to YouTube and just go on podcasts and all these interviews and get people to show for the system. He told them that he's he won an Emmy, okay? And then it and then it, it's Victor, the other guy in Electric Playground who won the Emmy, and the other producers. So the Scamroni's lying again. All Scamroni did was lie. You know what the funny thing is? Is that if in year one into year one into the Intellivision shilling, right? When he when he re really when he told everybody I'm gonna release it in television. If in year one People, everyone found out, okay, it's shovelware, it sucks. And then none of the YouTubers on YouTube helped him. He would have stopped the project right there. He would have stopped. He would have been like, okay, it was a good try. Okay, Intellivision's not coming out, not enough funding, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're done. Game over. But because, because there were a bunch of cucks and simps out there, like OEBP, that was a main, main shill. You got DJ Cuck, Retro Advisory Board, Geeks with Rash, Turbo Slow, Retro Ho, Trash JT, like you have all these people, Brett Weiss, Mike Molest, mm. and that piece of garbage across the pond in friggin' England, Snestastic, aka the Amico Kid. What a piece of absolute British speaking trash. That piece of trash changes his name to Amico Kid to shill for the system for a bit, and then he changes his name back to Snestastic. I hate that British speaking prick so much. I hate it, I hate it. I can't stand it. They have this default mechanism in them, is that when they speak to people in the West here, because they have an accent, they feel like they're far superior than us. They're not, they're drunken idiots that go to pubs every other day. That's all these England people do. They, they speak with their British accent. They watch football. football. Football, aka soccer, is their lives. All they care about is Manchester United and Liverpool and this little rivalry. The most weakest, pathetic men in England. And all they do is they go to pubs. They drink. They get drunken idiots. They turn into drunken idiots, speak with their accent, and that's it. And when they come over to the West, they think they're sophisticated. You know what? The funny thing is it works. Because people in the West here with their basic English-speaking accents... They listen to these British speaking pricks and they think all of a sudden that they're God. They're not. They're pieces of trash. He's him with his turtleneck sitting in front of his fireplace talking like he knows anything about the amic. He doesn't know anything about the game. Calls himself Snestastic. I guarantee you every dollar that I have, he never beat an, an SNES game in his life. He's a piece of trash, British speaking prick. I hate that guy. That's another shill I absolutely hate. So Scamaroni just going around. If no one shilled for this, he would have stopped the project in year one. Year one, no one cared about it. People knew it was shovelware. That's it, done. But because these YouTubers were here, starstruck by this greasy leprechaun, starry-eyed looking at this greasy leprechaun with his gelled back greasy hair and his friggin' Ferrari and his seven Guinness World Book of Records and he's cousins with that Aerosmith guy and like all this stuff going on. These weak, pathetic YouTubers thought that he was going to somehow help them grow his channel. It was all just for money. You need an extra dollar. You really need an extra $5 of monetization a month, right? So you can just buy an extra Starbucks latte 
and act like a libtard for an hour? Is that is that what you really want to do with your YouTube career? Is just get that monetization so you can, like I don't get it. I don't get this whole YouTube dream that you want to be a YouTuber. Okay, it's not as easy as you think. Okay, you're going to be constantly in the public eye. Okay, you got you have to be forced to making videos all the time you you see these losers like rgt85 and then the metal jesus rocks john riggs hancock do you think they like making videos no they don't they wish they could just stop they can just relax don't have to make a video but no now they have an image and they have to protect it it's not the good way to go okay and that's what scam Roni is doing he's protecting his image acting like he's the best thing ever but now it's been destroyed okay that lucky charm breakfast eating piece of garbage scamaroni his reputation is down the gutter because he tried to push over shovelware garbage onto us that ain't gonna work buddy boy it's a plug and play crap that that uh needs to be in walmart aisles uh, no i really want to know how that bug test is going i know all you people are watching the amico forever panel clipping it making funny compilations i want to know i want to know what the hell is going on with that bug testing i want to know where where's phil freaking phil adams uh next um news release he he told trash jt that freaking prant valley prancing around with no shirt on he told him yeah in a couple of weeks i'm gonna let you know you know uh what's going on with the intelligence don't worry just sit tight sit tight i'm gonna get you it's been like a month and he hasn't revealed any information what's going on it's just complete garbage and there's still people out there like dj cuck who think there's something to this why because it's a stupid youtube channel it's all for the friggin monetization in a youtube channel make a career like how much extra money is uh, dj cuck making now since he got monetized what like an extra five ten bucks Great, you can buy you can buy Geeks' Wrath another greasy burger so you can fill his face up with more acne on stream. Yeah, great. Like this is this is all it is. It's like no you guys have no self-respect, no abs like no honor amongst yourselves. It's just shill for some garbage. What's OEB Pete doing right now? That lunatic. That lunatic on the west coast of Canada. What's that lunatic doing? Shilling for the Evercade. He shilled for the Intellivision Amigo. That failed. Well, let's shill for the Evercade. Let me get an extra buck a month being monetized. Uh, geeks with rash. And then there's the geek getaway. That slobbering, fat, overgrown, fence riding piece of absolute garbage absolute garbage kermit the fraud he's friggin never duplicated what's up meat bags what's up meat bags i'm cool i'm cool i know the lingo what's up meat bags shut the hell up okay you're a piece of garbage Geek Getaway is the biggest loser I've ever seen in my life. He has nothing better to do is think about all day how to regurgitate video game news. Go on Google, type in latest, literally just go on Google and type in latest video game news, gets the first article off Kotaku, regurgitates it and sends it to his own subscriber list. His, the Geek Getaway, okay, there's two, the Geek Getaway subscriber list and Saggy Melons, aka Begging for Millions. Those two subscriber lists are the most cucked, pieces of garbage I have ever seen. Like the most pathetic males you're ever going to see are in those two subscriber lists. Saggy shillings and the fraud getaway. <sighs> Saggy melons. What's her breakfast? Probably a pizza, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. She gets, she definitely gets the hot fudge sundaes. She definitely gets those. She definitely eats ice saggy shillings definitely eats ice cream daily okay definitely she's definitely eating fast food and she's definitely drinking coke all right that gargantuan ogre okay you can hear her from a mile away walking at you with one with her weight walking to you and one with her voice screaming at the top of her lungs saggy shillings the bandwagoner literally shilled for television just just 
to increase her YouTube OnlyFans page. That's it. <laughs> and then Scamaroni's like, well, we definitely need a girl in our little shilling squad here, so might as well get saggy melons. Yeah, that's a good look. Saggy friggin' melons. Mom, mom, what does saggy melons mean? Uh, shut up, kid. Just play this foot bath and play your Finnegan Fox with your friends. Oh, you have no friends? No friends want to come over and play Finnegan Fox? Yeah, it figures. Mom, I want to invite Timmy over to play Finnegan Fox. Sorry, son, with one controller, it's 400 bucks. If I wanted to, if I wanted to get two controllers, it would have to been five, half a, half a grand. Sorry. I don't have that kind of money in this kind of uh, economy, okay? The world's going to dust, okay? There's friggin' wars going on everywhere, this going on, uh, conspiracies here and conspiracies there. Yeah, let me get all that extra pocket change that I barely scraped by, and let me buy myself an Amico. I want my Amico. I'm a, I'm a big fat loser. I want my Amico. Literally the worst song I've ever heard in my life. Ever. I want my Amico. Who he, what grown man, okay, with a set, sings about a console, raps about a console, and they want it. I want my Amico. Even kids that are excited about PS5 or Xbox, Nintendo Switch. They're not making songs, I want my Nintendo Switch. The most, the, the, the thing is, is this pro side? What, what the people listening right now, what you have to realize is the type of men in this pro side of Amigo, the pro side, they're really pathetic losers in their real life. You need to, you need to actually get that in your head. There's nothing special about them. Scamroni went around and gathered a bunch of losers on YouTube to shill for his product. You need to get that in your head. Like just actually put that in your head that if you knew these people in real life, you wouldn't want to be their friends because there's something wrong with them. That's what you need to realize. So then once you know that, then it's easy doing these videos bashing the Amico cult. Because in their real life, they're pathetic scum. Atari Creek, some toothless hobo that can't even get a dentist to fix his teeth. And he's trying to tell you his opinion on video games and Amico news and life news. Why am I listening to you? You're a piece of garbage. Okay, you're a hobo on the street. Like th that's what you need to, you need to get that in your head right away. Okay, that these pro side Amico people are losers. There are there are obviously some pro side Amico that got tr that are just doing it just for the money, right? There are some people that wanted to just get that investment back and just the money. But then there are actually people that are like, yeah, this Amico is great. It just tells you about their frame set of their mind that they don't know anything about games, especially SNES Tastic, that piece of garbage on the across the pond in England. I hate him. I, I, I hate his face. I hate the way he sounds. I hate his accent. I hate the I hate the words he uses. I hate his opinions. I hate everything about that guy. And that guy's just an English speaking prick that's out there on the pond. Shit, any second he got to, Tommy's more fun. Tommy, 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 we need to go uh, Tommy. Tommy, the intelligent maker, when's I come on Tommy? Like, shut the hell up, I hate that guy! Ugh!